What's up, y'all? Alvin here, and I'm back with another down and dirty, quick and easy fish catching guide fly. Today, we're tying a rat. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> Okay, so like a lot of these flies, this one doesn't have a name. It's just a rat fly, a mouse fly, whatever you want to call it. The main thing is, is it's super easy to tie and it catches fish. Only need a couple of materials. All right, so let's get going. Number one, we've got a three quarter inch strip of black foam, three millimeters. So pretty thin. Next up, we've got our hook, which is the uh, trusty old Gamagatsu B10S in a size one. Thread, you just need some beefy thread, you know, something that's not going to break when you start cranking down on that foam. And now you can use uh, Rabbit for this. But I've got some uh, squirrel skin, so squirrel zonker, just like the color. Once again, you know, it's a guide fly, so I'm just using whatever I have available. This happens to be the first thing that I grabbed that was about the right color. Okay, so let's get started. We've already got our hook in the vise. Go ahead and attach the thread. Going to put it kind of even with the eye of the hook. Trim that off. And we're gonna attach our tail. So I've already cut off a little piece of uh, this squirrel zonker. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just basically pull off all the fur except for a little tuft there at the end. So, like that, just kinda peel it off can get kind of messy. Uh, alternately, you can uh, cut it off, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do <laughs> in the effort to save a little time. Just going to trim that bad boy off. Basically, you just want to have most of the hair gone and a little tuft of fur at the very end of the tail. Make it kind of ratty looking. That seemed to be the quickest and easiest way to get that done. And you know, we want this rat to be pretty ratty looking. <laughs> so, about like that. All right, so I'm gonna just get all the way back here, tie that tail in. And that tail is uh, about twice the size or twice the length of the hook shank. Tie that in. All right. So that's what we got so far. Now, I'm gonna fold this foam over the hook with it pointing that way. And I'm just gonna kinda secure that. Leaving it uh, long like this. I could probably go with a thinner piece of foam, but I kind of like all the extra foam underneath the body just to help with flotation. So just kind of wrapping it back and forth. And I'm going to get tighter with the wraps as I go. Just kind of squish that foam down underneath. With this much foam, sometimes it'll take two or three, even four wraps to get it all nice and tight. I want to go right up to the hook eye. So all the way up to about there. All right. Did have a little bit of a 
blow out there. So I'm just going to recapture that, pinch that in. Yeah, that's better. All right. Next step is to get a long piece of your rabbit or your squirrel zonker. And this is going to form the body of the frog or the underbody of the frog, excuse me, the mouse. If you watch my video about my frog pattern, it's really similar to this. I'll leave a link to that one right up here. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and tie that rabbit strip, or excuse me, in this case, my squirrel strip right up here at the eye. I'm going to go ahead and bring the thread back to the bend of the hook. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap my zonker strip, rabbit, squirrel, whatever you happen to be using, back to the back of the hook. Once again, I'm not too worried about getting this really neat. Just want to cover that hook. Got a little bit of extra there. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that off. This rat does not need a tail and a half. All right. And then we fold our foam back. Grab it here. Just tie it off right at the bend of the hook. Fold it forward. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and trim the rest of this foam off. I like to get it pretty close, but if you want your mouse to make more commotion, you can leave that little lip a little bit longer. Sometimes I'll give it a little bit of a taper. Around the butt. So, and last thing we do is a couple of whip finishes. Helps to have these big whip finishers like this when we're whip finishing back near the bend of the hook. Like always, I'll throw a couple of whip finishes on there. If you want, you can put head cement over the thread. That'll make it a little bit less likely to come loose. And there it is. <laughs> Super easy tie. You can knock out a bunch of those in no time, and that thing will catch fish. So, you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, you can make it in different colors. Um, you can make it a lighter brown, you can make it black with a black under fur. But, uh, yeah, caught a lot of bass. I've not tried it for trout, but I'm sure it would work for trout as well. <laughs> Basically, any fish that will eat a mouse should eat this guy. All right. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate the video, please hit that thumbs down button two times. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, any questions, leave those in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, Please subscribe to the channel. Got more videos coming every week. See you in the next one. 
And as always, good luck on the water.